Chapter 9 The Fairy at the Spring Before you read Have you ever read stories of fairies? They have magical powers. If you could be granted one magical power, what would you wish for? Read the story of a fairy who grants a boon to the younger girl and a curse to the elder girl. Long, long years ago, there was a widow and her two daughters lived in a small village. People often used to mistake the elder girl with her mother because she looked like her mother. But the mother and the elder daughter were so arrogant and ill-behaved that no one could talk and live with them. On the other hand, the younger girl was gentle and sweet. No other girl of that village was prettier than her. The mother loved only the elder daughter who resembled her so closely. The younger girl had to live in the kitchen and work hard from morning till night. The poor child's job was to go twice a day and draw water from a spring that was located half a mile away and bring it back in a larger pitcher. One day, when the small girl was at the spring, she saw an old woman came up and begged for drink. Of course, mother, the pretty girl replied. She rinsed her pitcher and drew some water for the cleanest part of the spring and handed it to the old woman, lifting up the jug so that she might drink more easily. Now, this old woman was a fairy who had taken the form of a poor village woman to test the girl's good nature. You are so pretty and so polite. I shall give you a gift. This is the boon I grant you. With every word that you utter, there shall fall from your mouth either a flower or a precious stone, said the fairy. When the girl reached home, the mother scolded her for being so long in coming back from the spring. I am sorry, I got late, mother, said the poor child. As she spoke these words, three roses, three pearls and three diamonds fell from her mouth. What's this? cried her mother. Did I see pearls and diamonds dropping out of your mouth? What does this mean, dear daughter? This was the first time she called her daughter, dear. The poor child narrated what had happened. While speaking, she scattered diamonds here and there. Really? said her mother. I must send my own child there. Serena, come here. Look what comes out of your sister's mouth whenever she speaks. Wouldn't you like to be able to do the same? All you have to do is to go and draw some water at the spring and when a poor woman asks you for a drink, give it to her very nicely. Oh, indeed, replied the ill-mannered girl. I don't want to waste my time. Go there yourself. I tell you that you are to go, said mother. And to go this instant. The girl went off sulkily, taking with her the best silver pot in the house. When she reached the spring, she saw a lady, magnificently dressed, who came towards her from the forest and asked for a drink. Do you think I have come here just to get you a drink? said the rude girl arrogantly. Do you think I brought a silver pot here specially to give you a drink? Drink from the spring, if you want to. This was the same fairy who had appeared to her sister, now dressed as a princess. The fairy wanted to see how ill-natured the girl can get. You are not very polite, said the fairy, showing no anger. Well, in return for your rudeness, I'll give you a curse. For every word you utter, a snake or a toad shell drop out of your mouth. When the mother saw her daughter coming back, she cried out, Well, daughter! Well, mother, replied the rude girl. As she spoke, a viper and a toad were spat out of the mouth. Gracious heavens, cried her mother. What do I see? Her sister is the cause of this and I will punish her for it. Off she ran to thrash the poor child, but she ran away and hid in the nearby forest. The king's son met her on his way home from hunting. He noticed how pretty she was. He asked her what she was doing here all alone and why she was weeping. She cried, I ran away from my home. As she spoke, the prince saw four or five pearls as many diamonds fall from her mouth. He was surprised and asked her to tell him what happened. She told him the whole story. The king's son fell in love with her and took her to his palace and married her. 
the cursed sister made herself so hateful that even her mother drove her out of the house. She went into the forest and no one saw her again.